Hello, everybody. My name is Ricky Smith, and this is Faith on Friday Presents. At Faith on Friday Presents, we aim to highlight inspiring people, engaging topics, and small businesses. And today, of course, is no exception. Now, a lot of you are small business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, shoestringpreneurs, mompreneurs, you know, it's a whole thing. But what do you know about your marketing, your branding, and getting it all out there in such a way that makes it make an impact. Well, have I got a treat for you. Today, we're going to talk to marketing expert and branding um, the marketing lady, Tarsha Polk Hearns. Tarsha, how are you? Hi, Ricky. Thank you so much for having me. I love your energy and thank you so much for having me on the show. You are going to be amazing and I appreciate you being here. Tarsha, there are so many people who have started a business in this new year, right? And so many of us, we're really good at what we do, but we are horrible when it comes to our branding and our marketing. Can you start off by telling us what is the difference between the two? Absolutely. There's not a lot of difference, actually. I mean, marketing, if you think about this umbrella, right? Marketing is this umbrella and under that umbrella, you have branding, advertising, digital, you know, print, all these different things under that marketing umbrella. And ultimately, the goal of marketing is to create awareness so mm -hmm. that you can get customers. And so when we look at your personal brand, the one of the slight nuances is you're branding yourself versus a product or a service. So if you are that solopreneur or that entrepreneurial leader or that executive nonprofit leader, and you are the brand, you are the founder, um, you're just applying the same marketing tactics and, te and techniques to, that you would for a product or service, just applying it to yourself. So That's now so interesting it, though. I, I yeah. apologize for that. I mean, but you know, a lot of people don't, we don't think of branding yourself or yourself as a brand, you know, yeah. what makes somebody, a person, a brand versus a product, a brand. Yeah. And I want to say this, there was a time when personal branding meant looking at your unique attributes, looking at your skills. It could be something that set you above others. Mm -hmm. I like using the example of Herb Keller. He was the founder and former CEO of Southwest Airlines. I know there's a lot going on right now with Southwest, but just bear with me um, for those of you who have had to deal with that. But what I like using them as an example, because even though Southwest is a brand, a commercial brand, when Herb Keller took the helm and, and founded that, he built that brand based on his personality. Um, people would say he's such a lovable guy. He's a fun guy. He loves people. So he was able to take those attributes about himself and integrate that in his company brand. Right. And so initially, that's what personal branding has always really been about is what is it about me that people love? What is it about me when I walk in the room, I attract certain people or things or opportunities? Right. And how, how do I package that? How do I promote that? And how do I profit from it? That's so good so, because so a lot really, of people look at that, you know, how do I, how do I profit from me as a brand? Yeah. Now in your book, which by the way, y'all is amazing and you can get it on Amazon and the book is called marketing. With, go ahead, Tarsha. I'm so making sorry. Making an impact. Pack, that's right. How it, to build a powerful personal brand. Absolutely. It's on Amazon. It's also on my website, themarketinglady.com. Um, and in that book, I really just tell my journey of how I started my own personal branding journey and, and came up with the brand, The Marketing Lady. So tell us a little bit about your story. How did you start out as becoming The Marketing Lady and coming up with your own brand? How did you get started? 
Sure. I call myself an accidental entrepreneur, and I know there's a lot of them out here now because, you know, we've been going through this great resignation, um, especially during the pandemic when people were like, hey, I'm quitting my job. I'm going to do a side hustle or start my own thing. But, you know, back when I started my company 20 years ago, and this year will be my 20th anniversary of being an entrepreneur, I can't believe it. Uh, but when I started it, you know, I honestly never had the intentions of starting a business. I wanted to climb the corporate ladder. My, my, my undergrad and graduate degrees were in marketing. I was working in corporate marketing and sales. But then one day, the truth about corporate America was revealed to me, and I didn't like what I learned. I learned that someone else was in control of my destiny. And I really didn't like that. So I decided to fire my boss. <laughs> uh, and I had no idea what I wanted to do. So I went networking from sunup to sundown, went to this chamber, that chamber, this association, that association. And one day a gentleman had recognized me from a previous event and said, hey, I've seen you around before. You're that marketing lady, aren't you? Uh, and I was like, hmm, yes, I am. I am. <laughs> and, and really, that's, the, that's when the idea of, um, and honestly, I didn't even know at that time, you know, almost 20 years ago, I didn't even know what personal branding was. I will admit, I didn't <laughs> even know what it was. Sure. But as I started my business and I started to realize that People weren't buying into the marketing services that I was offering. And of course, you know, I'm dating myself because back then the internet was still new. <laughs> Facebook was still in Mark Zuckerberg's dorm room. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, people didn't quite know what marketing was, how to do it. Mm -hmm. And but I realized that people were buying me. Yeah. They trusted me. They mm -hmm. saw me as an expert. They, they, um, you know, they wanted to tap into my knowledge. And so, you know, you know, I just decided after you know so many months that I, let me turn this, let me package my knowledge, let me package my expertise. And thankfully, at that time, it was right at the right time when people were getting their businesses online. You know, oh, okay. this is, is before your TikToks. This is before your Instagrams. Not all of us and, right now. <laughs> yeah. So then when you got started, who who were you looking to work with and who do you work with now in your business? Yeah. And I'll admit, just like any other entrepreneur, because you most entrepreneurs try to be everything to everybody. And because marketing was so broad in general, at the time I was offering, because it was at the, the end of that dot-com bust and people were getting, starting to get online and understanding how you wanted to, you know, how important that was. Sure. So, um, you know, I, I was offering web development, marketing strategy. I was offering all these different kinds of services. And to be honest, I didn't hardly like doing any of them. <laughs> I didn't. And so as I matured as an entrepreneur and as I matured as a person who knew what I enjoyed and what I didn't enjoy, I started shaving off some of those services that I offered. And, and, and I, ref I remember in 2005, I reflected and I said, well, what am I when it comes to marketing, what am I really, really good at? Now, mind you, this is 2005. Facebook started in 2004. So uh, I was like, what, what am I really, really good at? And I realized what I was really good at is coaching people how to brand themselves. I was really good at creating um, email marketing campaigns and strategies mm -hmm. to help people communicate their brand. And then as Facebook matured and you know, then I started offering those digital marketing services. Um, and and then 10 years in, I had another, you know, evolution of the brand. Mm -hmm. And I really said, hey, no, I'm going to do very, very few marketing services mm -hmm. and focus strictly on coaching entrepreneurs and uh, career professionals on how to build an impactful brand. 
Wow, so that's that is- what I do today is really coach, train, and even mentor mm-hmm. individuals who are authors, speakers, or even professionals in their career. And right. they really want to know how do I become an intrapreneur mm-hmm. and brand myself so that I stand out in my company to get that promotion or to take what I've learned from my job mm-hmm. and create that brand uh, identity uh, once I decide, once they decide having their own business. That's awesome. So in your in your progression and as you were learning and growing and doing all of this, let me ask you, what would you say would be three of your best tips for someone who's starting out and wants to start to build their personal brand? Thank you for asking, because I honestly outlined this in my book um, and the first and it's like in the first chapter. And, and let me tell you why I outline these these three in the book. It's because we we do live in this Insta famous world, right? You are an Instagram model. You are you have you're a creator, and you have this digital fame. Mm-hmm. Um, but before all that digital fame happens, you need to one define what your brand is and I know for you digital creators you're like hey all I just gotta do is press play and record and go live and that's it Um, but there is this level of defining who you are and what is your brand and so in my book I talk about how do you define your brand and by defining that personal brand what you're doing is figuring out your audience because And you'll notice this, you'll see some creators, they'll start out doing one thing and then they'll change up and do another thing. And you know why they're doing that is because they're still trying to define what that brand looks like and which audience is going to resonate with that brand. So that's number one. Mm. Once you define that brand, it's about building it. It's your your messaging. It's really uh, resonating with your core audience and making sure your messaging, your images, your lives, all of that stuff is resonating. So um, whether it's your your graphics and your images, you, you want to start building that brand. And then um, the third thing is simply just communicating that brand, promoting it. Um, and, you know, I I tell people, you don't have to be on all of the social media channels. Find Mm. the one that's best for you that you're most comfortable with. Um, There was a time where I lived, ate, and braved Facebook. Right. (laughs) But after a while, I got tired of seeing certain things scroll across my screen and got Mm. tired of having to block certain things and all of that. And eventually I kind of shifted away from Facebook being my primary vehicle to create visibility for my brand to Mm -hmm. LinkedIn, because as my business matured, as I matured and my audience matured with me to this day, I still, when I look at like some of the opens on my newsletter, you Mm can, uh, or, or campaigns, you can get check and see when that person joins your newsletter. I yeah. have people on my my newsletter that joined back in 2006, 2007, and they're <laughs> still opening my emails. That, that is right. that is awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's huge. Not all of them. Oh, no, but, but still. So huge. Yeah. So Tarsha, if someone wanted to work with you, how would they get in touch with you? The best way to get in touch with me would be uh, either through my website, themarketinglady.com. You can email Tarsha at themarketinglady.com. But I'm on LinkedIn all the time. So you can um, DM me on Instagram, message me on Facebook. Uh, So any of the social media platforms, you can find me there to connect as well. And don't worry, everybody, if you did not get that written down, it's all going to be in the description below. And don't forget, while you're here, subscribe, like, and share our channel as well. And if you or someone you know has an interesting story or an engaging topic or a small business that needs to be highlighted, make sure you go to our website at faithonfriday.com and send us an email. We want to hear from you. Tarsha, my friend. 
Before I let you go, we gotta play a game. Okay, I like games. All right, so this game is called This or That. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna give you the choice of two things and you off the top of your head, just let me know which one you like the best. Are you ready to play? I'm ready, come on I'm with it. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Batman or Captain America? Batman. Yay. Going to the movies or movies at home? Going to the movies. Yeah, it's the popcorn. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Make the call or send the text? Mm, text. Okay. Snickers or Three Musketeers? Snickers all the way. I have a pantry full of them. <laughs> We're not judging, girl. <laughs> dressing up or dressing down? Dress down. All right. Cats or dogs? Neither. No problem there. It's the hair, right? I'm uh. allergic. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother level, my friend. Okay. Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? Thanksgiving. All right. Fry it or grill it? Grill it. I'm a little surprised. I thought there would be some frying somewhere in there. Oh, well. <laughs> Air frying. Yeah, oh, that counts. <laughs> Morning person or night owl? Night owl. Mm, okay. And finally, what's your favorite Olympic sport? Ooh, track. I used to run that in high school. Oh, very nice. Very yeah. nice. Tarsha, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for your insight. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. This is fun. I appreciate you allowing me to share some nuggets with your audience. I appreciate it. And I'm sure they appreciate it too. That's it for this time, everybody. But don't worry. We'll see you next time on Faith on Friday Presents.